Okay, so, okay, yeah, that's a great idea. It's good to improve it. Um, so today's uh, challenge or this week's challenge is all about peer mentorship and how we can um, nurture the growth uh, at Kifia through um, through collaboration with your with your fellow peers. Um, so does can someone tell us um, in their own terms what they think mentorship is? If you have a mentor, tell us more about them. And if you do have a mentor, or if you want to have a mentor, what are the top characteristics that you want in a mentor? It could be technical it could be like i want someone who is like technically good at coding and can help me go through it or maybe business just different can anyone share um if they have a mentor or what they look for in a mentor Um, Kibebu, can you go? Um, I don't think she can hear me. Haftom, can you can you tell us if you what you think mentorship is, and if you have a mentor, and what you look for in them, if you do. Okay, a lot of you, I think, are shy to speak up, but I think it's a good habit to start practicing um, being openly uh to openly share um it's going to help with your communication skills and also it's going to make it easy for you when you're doing an interview how to you're going to practice how to better communicate how uh whatever is on your mind but okay um let's just go on so traditionally peer mentor uh, mentorships is it it always works under a teacher student dynamic with the mentor providing benefit of experience and wisdom to the mentee so for example if i know some some or a lot of you look up to yabi as your like technical mentor and from him you get to gain things like um his experience, his wisdom on the technical challenges, and he helps you through it. Uh, but sometimes peer, the traditional mentorship can be, yeah, sometimes the traditional mentorship can be a bit limiting. It could be hard for you to find a mentor. And yeah, so what we are, so peer mentorship is where a group of people who are in the same, role or in the same setting or environment can help each other grow and you can gain something from that relationship from the peer mentorship so for example at this kefir training um, so we have you have your fellow colleagues and you there's someone who could be good at maybe installing docker the other one could be good at um, writing elt pipelines and all of that. So what we're trying to achieve with this peer mentorship program is for us to help each other um, so we can have like a smooth training and no one can be left behind uh, if they're struggling maybe with the challenges and all. Uh, so helping each other grow because you're all doing the same thing um, is very key. And that is what we call peer mentoring. So 
a relationship from peer to peer who you help each other grow and yeah support each other throughout the, the training and we're hoping that throughout this training you will be able to come up um to have someone to maybe look up to or just help each other throughout the training so you make sure that everyone is on par with the tasks and on par with the kind of knowledge that everyone is getting so no one can feel left behind so your role as a peer mentor so everyone here will be uh, paired with a peer mentor in the training and your role here will be to uh, number one share your personal experiences and perspectives um, for the purpose of learning so for example the career challenges or not the technical and both the technical challenges you can both share your experiences how you understand the technical exercise and um yeah just how just like group work uh, yeah so it also facilitates the relationships and connections within their peers so for this uh, I'm sure this is your week one. I'm not sure how many people or how many peers you've already interacted with personally, but it's important that throughout this training, you have someone um, to keep you uh, accountable throughout the training. So you be each other's keepers and no one can be left behind. So we're trying to foster that relationship and people to be able to get to know the other trainees more and yeah foster the connections between you and with that you also like provide academic assistance to your fellow peers so if you know you're good at um yeah if you if you're good at docker you can be able to help someone else who is not really good at that to be better if you have an interview soon and you want or you've created your cv and you want someone to proofread it for you that's the work of a peer mentor um so the benefits of uh creating a peer mentoring program at tan academy is to provide the direction for the kefir and ai mastery experience especially when one is stuck or overwhelmed um if you're stuck on maybe a challenge you can have someone help you get unstuck uh your tutors will be here to help you but sometimes they have a lot of um other uh trainees to help and you won't have like 100 percent um attention from them so if you know someone else from the team who can help you get unstuck with that problem that will be very useful in helping each and every one of you grow. And so it also helps to boost confidence from by learning from your peers. And you can also develop good communication skills, which I also advise you really take advantage of. It's so easy to ignore this. Uh, I know we keep telling you it from stand-ups to just sharing resources to enhance your communication skills but sometimes when you get to an interview and you're asked a question you have the idea in your head but how to properly articulate it well is where you get stuck so if you start practicing as highly as now it's going to really help and also to help you develop leadership skills and increase the le level of comfort and belonging throughout this whole training so we want you to have a wholesome experience um, throughout this whole training and we hope that knowing someone who can help you or having a peer mentor will help um, improve your experience sometimes we say if you if you're not happy in an environment it's going to be very hard for you to um, to adapt and yeah and perform well so if you develop like friends throughout this uh, peer training it's going to really help you belong and perform better uh yeah and it can also help to build a corporate relationship which i know after this training uh you you'll be working with your fellow um colleagues and it's it's going to be nice it's nice to always have to initiate that contact between your colleagues and 
yeah and talk about and um, yeah how to initiate the conversation what to talk about and etc so uh for this program we're going to implement a peer mentoring program and so everyone in this batch the kefir ai mastery batch one is a participant and we're going to provide an assessment or exercise on the career challenge on the career documents that i'm going to share after this so you're going to do the assessment and yeah the exercise and then so how we've paired you is according to your strengths and weaknesses from how you performed on week zero and then we also need you to we also need you to give us some feedback on how we can better improve this program for the next um for the next batches so yeah um so that I think everyone has access to the Google Drive or the career challenge and they can see their mentor, uh, the peer mentee. If you do, please um, just put a, just raise a hand um, if you know your peer mentee already. If you don't, uh, let me just share the link to the drive here so you can have a look at who's your mentor and what you required. So I've dropped it in the chat. The drive has the presentation, the document, the challenge document, and also a list of peer mentees. So if you have no idea who's your mentee, please have a look and then, yeah. So for this program to be effective, there are a couple of things that you need to um, look make sure uh, a couple of things that you need to ensure you have uh, to make this exercise effective so the first one is for you to focus on the relationship that you're trying to build with your peer mentee so always ensure that it's genuine or mutual so you can see that i can benefit something from this trainee and yeah i can benefit something from this trainee uh yeah and always understand the important what you're gaining from it and how you're also willing to help your other trainee in the same so you also we you can also like participate in activities or exercises for example for the career challenge you'll be asked to um have a meeting with your peer mentee and then ask some questions and then write a report about it and then after you're supposed to reflect on the quality of relationship, ask yourself, was this, um, was this relationship, um, is it going to help me moving forward? Is it going to help me become what I want? So if you're trying to be a data engineer, not, not a data engineer, sorry. Um, if you're trying to like advance uh, your skills in FinTech, is this going to, is this is this trainee going to help me achieve my goals and we it's good to for you to give us feedback so we can understand um so we can see how to better make your experience better here so also understand boundaries and make sure it's um, professional so also don't be overbearing to someone else because everyone has their own plate to deal with um the other thing is to think about the potential for growth in a mentoring relationship. So it could be in terms of leadership or technical skills or communications and and report, writing a report. So, for example, helping each other proofread ex, um, assignments and then also uh, for, for your peer mentee to like help boost or improve your sense of identity as people in as guys in fintech uh so lastly uh, it's to just the general uh things on how to be a good mentee in work settings so ensure you're each other's cheerleaders be open and listen to someone else's ideas and yeah respect and also appreciate the work and effort that your fellow trainee puts 
and then show up for your peers and help when you can and also listen to your peers um, ideas with an open mind um, yeah so let's have a look at the challenge um, before we do that is there any questions from any trainee any questions concerns anything unclear Okay, so since um, no one has a question or any concern, so let's just uh, have a look at the challenge and see what's expected. And yeah. So this, this week's, the week one challenge is on peer mentorship and so for this whole exercise you so you have to submit your work or report by friday um i think right uh, i'm not sure if there are any changes with this considering friday's uh uh holiday but i'll check with my kid and then i'll let you know when the due date is but as of now it's friday at 8 p.m utc so it's so for the background it's important for us to understand the intention the significance of intentional teamwork in an organization so after this i know most of you will be uh when you'll be in a work setting you need to find a way to properly collaborate with your colleagues and when there's good teamwork in an organization everything runs smoothly problems are solved easily and uh, different ideas from different people are appreciated and it helps the company run smoothly and uh, reach their kpis or their goals so the first the so the other thing we're going to like sort of test on this uh, is using um just create navigating digital interactions over the different platforms so you'll be required to um, initiate a contact from your with your pmnt and then create a google um, meet link and then you have a discussion and then afterwards you're going to write a report about the whole experience so the objective is to gain a comprehensive understanding of the role and practice of Peer mentorship, as well as the importance of collaboration in our remote work. So, for this exercise, uh, there is a list. Uh, the link is here, or you can also find it on the Google Drive. So, the exercise is for you to practice peer mentorship with one of your colleagues. You've been paired, and the list can be found here. So, using the reference material at the bottom as additional insights and guidelines so there is like important links down here to just give you a brief uh overview of who a peer mentor is and the role and practice of a peer mentor in a work setting so after and after getting to understand what peer mentorship is you're supposed to meet with your peer over google meet and then follow the following instructions. So before the meeting, just do a quick search um, of your peer. It could be LinkedIn or Google and just have some basic information. So the purpose of that is to um, is to help you, is to help guide the choice of questions you're going to ask your, your peer. So be also very careful to respect their digital privacy. So we request that you do a search of your peer just on social on professional platforms like LinkedIn and avoid this other avoid looking for your uh, peer mentee on other platforms like um, maybe TikTok or Instagram. <laughs> but yeah, just make sure it's a professional search and then 
Yeah, so once you uh, once you find who your peer, once you find them on socials, uh, you can just get to know, you can just get to ask them um, a few things, for example, it can, yeah, so if you see they have a back, they have a, they have a background or they studied something in um, data and you've always had some questions about data and you're curious to know more about the course or anything, uh, those are the kind of uh, guides that are going, those are the kind of things that are going to help you um, choose the questions you're going to ask during the meeting. So after getting to know them, uh, yeah, so then you prepare a list of five questions that you th you're going to ask about your peer. And this is in regards to their tech, their tech background or experience or the challenges in the 10 Academies journey so far, or maybe interesting facts about them. And then after you've prepared all these five questions, you have to reach out to them and schedule a Google Meet session. Uh, and the time that is convenient for both of you. So during the meeting, just do a basic introduction of yourself and then demonstrate some curiosity and also inquire about the colleagues background and interest. Um, get to know your peers strengths and weaknesses. And again, emphasis on keeping an open mind and respecting everyone's ideas. Uh, also, uh, yeah, also, so during the meeting, you're going to ask the five questions that you prepared. And then after getting to know more about your peer mentee, see if you can find any mutual ways that you're going to guide each other during this whole training um, as you move forward. So after having this meeting, um, you are also supposed to take a screenshot of you of you two during the meeting with your cameras on. Um, you're going to need it in the report. So the task here is for you to draft a report, just talking about the whole experience. And in this experience, you talk about the challenges that you experienced um, before the meeting. This is This could be technical, like for example, having issues with Google Meet or what, if you, if you don't experience any of those challenges then it's okay. Um, and then write a short bio of your peer. Um, this is just to help uh, with documentation and yeah. And then also write the questions that you asked your peer, the answers to them, the questions you yourself asked your peer and the, their response. And then also the five things that you learned from your peer and how you benefited from this exercise and also how you think you if you think you found a mutual um, uh, way to help each other throughout the program let us know also on the report um if it's yeah and then any call to action so did you exchange any contact did you agree to follow each other on social media this professionally um also did uh, did you find like a good mutual interest that you can keep scheduling um, sub subsequent meetings which, with each other? Uh, yeah, so things like that. However, you both agree with your trainee, uh, with your peer mentee. And then on the last slide, you're required to attach the screenshot of both of you with the cameras on. So any questions with the task so far or is everything clear? Put a thumbs up emoji if you think the exercise is clear or if you have a question. Um, thumbs up, hands up. Okay. Great. So, so the exercise is clear. That's great. So the usefulness of this challenge is for you to learn how to work with others. And if you always have that um, that thing pulling you back or you're afraid to ask a question to your colleague or initiate contact, we're hoping that this will um, help clear those challenges or blockers. And you're also going to learn how to 
you probably know already how to do it, but like use tools like Google Calendar and Meet to schedule like online meetings in case you're asked during an interview to do that from your side. Um, so the grading to get a hundred, uh, they're going. We're going to focus on the if there were any challenges and also how you drafted your bio about your peer, the questions, the quality of questions that you asked, and also the learnings from the exercise and also call to actions. So there's also a new um, late submission policy. Please have a look at the at it to avoid um, getting uh yeah to avoid any anything to just make sure you're, yeah um so i think that's it if there's any other question that you have about the exercise now is your chance to ask um if you're aware of your peer also just uh raise your hand if you can see your name uh, you can always find me on slack um and yeah as margaret career tutor so i assume everyone knows what to do with the exercise and also their peers okay thanks junior um if there's no other questions or concerned or concerns then i think we're going to end our tutorial today um yeah you can have the rest of the 20 minutes to maybe start working on it or yeah completing your assignments thank you for being here and i wish you all the best throughout the training have a good evening <laughs>